Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Wisconsin once again in the political spotlight as Vice President Kamala Harris campaigns in Eau Claire with the new running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Wald. The rally today drawn a huge crowd with the campaign saying some 12,000 people were on hand. Chief political reporter Jason Zimmerman was also there. He breaks down what was said in our Your Voice, Your Vote coverage. The rally in Eau Claire is the second for Vice President Kamala Harris since announcing her running mate and just an hour drive from where Tim Walls is governor in Minnesota. It's a good afternoon. It's a good afternoon. Addressing a massive crowd similar in size to what her opponent Donald Trump has been drawing across the country, Harris touted her agenda if elected president, which includes protecting abortion rights and tackling inflation, which has been a top issue with voters heading into November. And when I am president, it will be a day one priority to fight to bring down prices. I will take on big corporations that engage in illegal price gouging. I will take on corporate landlords that unfairly raise rents on working families. I will take on big pharma and cap the cost of prescription drugs for all Americans. Both Harris and Walls also attacking Trump for his conservative policies. I'm not a name caller, but what I am as a teacher, I observe things. So I want to tell you what I observed and you've deserved about, observed about these guys when you see them, that it's a very clear thing. Yes, they are creepy and, and weird as hell. You see it. Democrats at the rally say since Harris was elevated to the top of the presidential ticket, there's been a renewed energy among the base. I love Kamala and I'm so excited about Waltz. My, I have two daughters that work in Minnesota and they are teachers, so they know him very well and they follow them all along. So yeah, excited to be here, can't wait until she's president. Harris will now visit a number of critical swing states in the days to come ahead of the DNC, which is set to kick off on August 19th. Reporting in Eau Claire, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.